hey guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa in today's video i'm going to show you a very easy way to make your own magical crystal ball so let's get started Hey guys, so here are some of the things that you're going to need. Now, you're going to need a plastic ball that actually comes from the Dollar Tree. And these lights are light similar, again, from the Dollar Tree. That's actually for a snow globe. You're going to need some glitter. I'm using shards of glass, of course. This is actually for my resin um, supplies. And I have this galactic glitter. I also have some diamond dust. But again, you can actually use glitter. I want it really textured. And I use some of that paint to make like a patina kind of look for the bottom, for the lid. And I use, again, paint from the Dollar Tree and black. And you could find similar colors, I'm sure, maybe some metallics from the Dollar Tree. But I'm using this pearl, uh, pearlized paint for this one. You're going to need a little palette or something to paint on, a brush. And I am actually going to paint pour on the ball, but you don't have to. If you don't paint pour, you can use, I'm sure you can use regular paint and paint directly onto your crystal ball. All right, so these are the very simple supplies, and I'm gonna get started showing you how to put all this together. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so first, I just want to show you what it actually looks like, the one I already made without the lights going on. So even without the lights, it actually is really, really pretty. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is paint the lid. Now, this is plastic, obviously. And, of course, it's going to kind of leave a texture. It's not going to adhere right away. See all those little spots already? Now, actually... This is not a bad texture to have because when the paint, the black paint spreads apart, it actually kind of looks like spider webs, which is kind of cool. So if at this point you want to leave it like this, please do so. And also, you don't have to use black. That's my choice. You can use any color you want for the crystal ball or, or for the lid. Now, me, I want to kind of make it look like, you know, vintage, like a patina. So I'm just going to keep on layering so this is basically the second layer of paint. Just keep kind of layering the paint and that um, texture of the paint separating will actually stop after a while. So I'm just adding the highlight. This is a green pearl paint. The other one I use like more like a copper. So I'm going to switch up the colors for this one for you guys. So I am just quickly just it'll be like two or three coats. Um, just keep layering layering on the sides as well and keep on adding those little highlights wherever you want and It takes a few minutes and you're gonna let this dry So it's two to three coats let it dry and now you can put this to the side Okay, so now the next part is the pouring so I took that pearl paint um, you can use white, you can use silver, you can use black, whatever you want. This is the colors I'm choosing. So this beautiful kind of arctic pearl paint. And this time, I'm going to use like a deep blue instead of black. Um, so basically, I'm adding more of the pearl and lighter on the darker paint. So I want more of the white to show through. And you're going to see in a minute what i mean it's gonna when i am done with the whole process it's gonna be a very cool cloudy effect and that's kind of what i want um again you can do it any way you want but this is kind of the effect that i want so now let's get to pouring so i'm just pouring on the center at first and then i'm trying to hit all the sides 
as evenly as I can. Even if you lose some paint, it's easier if you pour more paint than less. That way it'll hit the sides and you won't have to touch up any areas. Now all of this beautiful design is unfortunately going to go bye-bye. Now if I was doing a Christmas ball, I would probably leave it just like this. I'm just making sure all the sides are covered at this point. And you can just tap that on. But basically I got a pretty good coverage on the whole ball. And the next step is we are going to start adding our embellishments. Now once you start adding the glitters, if you want to add the glass or anything like that, what's going to happen is the paint is going to start changing and I actually love the transformation of that. So I am going very, very heavy because I want it to actually look like glass, look like a real crystal ball. So I'm, I'm going very heavy on the glitters and the glass I just keep on adding and adding and adding um, and just move around the whole ball until you get all the spots that you want to get again I, I'm going really really heavy so you don't have to do what I do you can go very light now I am adding some diamond dust I just want to get just everywhere everywhere over this ball I want it to sparkle I want it to literally blind me so and now I'm gonna add some of this darker glitter this is a gorgeous galactic glitter just kind of get some darker spots going in to have this kind of very moody feeling to it so guys this is what it looks like right after I poured all of the paint and all of the glitters. Now I'm just going to let this sit maybe about eight hours or so. It depends on where you live and how long paint dries and just let it sit until it is fully dry. Okay guys, so here is the last step. So now here is what it looks like fully dried so very pretty it is sparkly it's smoky it's moody i love it all right so and here is the lid and i did add some of these very very pretty like autumn brown sequins that i had and i totally forgot i had because i have so much tonic studio sequins and stuff so i really love the way that looks so let's put this guy to the side so you're gonna get your batteries you're gonna put the little lights in and you are going to stick it inside your crystal ball all right just shove them in there put that plastic cap in so that it everything just sits perfectly and then you could put screw on the lid properly and that is it guys and you'd have now your own magical, beautiful crystal ball. And you could just tell the future. You could see your past lives. I love this project. I'm so happy I did it. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. And please let me know if you make one for yourself. It's really, really easy. And most of the supplies you could probably get, if not all, from the Dollar Tree. And this will probably cost you maybe $5. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.